Hello everyone, Segmulator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Is there anything else that we can get in here now that uh Sam has mentioned Your the place? father's personal logs. No? Okay. Right. So what are we doing? Priority, go to your ship. Find a way to remove Sam's memory blocks. Missing arcs. Here's the silence. Okay, we've done all those for now. Uh, okay, so I need to speak to Kandros and scientists. And then we can go to the ship. Do you have anything to talk about? No? Alright. Fire Bay, Docking Bay operations. I oh, should probably go to operations, I think. Oh, hang on. Ah, Cora. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. <laughs> and Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Yeah. Meeting Addison was... interesting. She doesn't know you. I do. And you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. When you're ready, just head out to the docking bay. Cool. All right. Let's talk to Kandros. Where is he? This is wrong. Just wrong. Engineering reports. Who are you? It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found this. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have... There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him. All right, so we got another side quest. But he's probably in here. Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkin Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkin, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanting to chat with you. A Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. 
Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and... I... I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. I'm so sorry, that's awful. We were close. He was a stubborn son of a... I admire that about him. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Alright. Anything here? Arms merchant. You won't be useful later. Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. You got it. Shop till you drop. Here I come. That's fine. Hey, wait. Please don't drop anything you bought from me, okay? Tam would have my head if anything happened to you on my account. Alright, cool. Got this lot. Nothing new currently. Alright. That's just the shop there. But where are the scientists? The planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves. You must be the scientists. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop. Uh, lab. You know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Pathfinder, those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? Yeah. What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Excellent. What about you? What do you want? Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened, and I... I need to know. Excuse me. And what can I do for you, sir? Hi, Pathfinder. Want to hit some rocks for science? Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, and wildlife. Scan minerals. Perfect. Right, now let's go talk to Kandros. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. 
Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. It doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying? What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations, go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know? Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Nyreen went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. Oh, no, I mean. I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those Ket found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket? We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. He already has. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Ah, I think I know where the witness is. I think she's the one who's up here. Yep. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Scott Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. 
Did you see any cats in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. All right, let's go speak to Tan. Engineering reports. Hyperion power draw is now at 100%. Hey, Tan. Something I can help you with? I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Cheers, That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. Okay. Let's talk to Kandros about getting uh, authorization for the strike teams. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. All right, excellent. Great teams are flying. Online features can't be accessed until you can. All right, okay, fair enough. Uh, right, let's head to the docking bay. Let's get our ship. Get out then to the big black. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But, at least we'll be doing it in style. Liam not with us? They call her the Tempest. Normandy 2.0. Still a cool looking ship. I do like the Tempest as a, as a design. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. 
Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. True. I like Vetra. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Oh, I don't want to get out there. Everything state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Uh, I remember Your I quarters like are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Excellent stuff. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. Yeah, hold the meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. It's tonight. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Is Liam? That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen, and keep any specimen safe. Actually, this is a proper research vessel. Nice. Pathfinder, check this toy. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones, like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down and give you options. We're on our own, for everybody else. That's what Pathfinder means now. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Uh, development. Excellent. Ooh, weapons, armor.
Ah, uh, I need my N7, sorry. Ah, oh, damn it, can't afford it. I want my N7. Alright, fair enough, we'll hold off for a bit. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Nice. Hey. Hey, how you doing? We're almost out there, finally. Yeah, we're getting there. Hello, I've just got to finish this download from the Nexus. We'll be ready for launch. Nice. This looks familiar. Hey, Gil. Hi there. Can we talk and stuff later? I've got some last minute adjustments. Sure thing. She'll be ready to go when you are. Securing cargo and checking everything made it on board. The bridge report's ready. Cheers, Metra. Right. Rider. Finalizing orders, flight plan, command access. Ready when you are. Nice. But what's this way? Ah, crew quarters. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Uh, not right now. But I'll keep you on my list, especially if you're biotic and can drop the weight. Uh, pay it back in beer or whatever else we, we, we find, Liam. Comments. Are you serious? I never joke about comfortable seating. All right. Congratulations, Papa. And right on a successful installation of your info board. You are now ready to keep yourself and your staff informed of the latest developments aboard the Tempest. Okay, I've set up everyone's user accounts. Have at it. Right, sweet. Oh, shower and stuff. What's, what's in here? Uh, kitchen. Med Bay. Hello, Ryder. Hey, Lexi. Excuse me. I need to make sure we have everyone's medical files from the Nexus. Come oh. by after launch, and we can catch up properly. That's good. What's on here? Uh, you've got this. You don't need an old man, a few hundred years your junior, to tell you you're ready for this. I'll do it. Any I'll do it anyway because I know it's true. You keep your rider safe, and I'll do the same with mine, Harry. Uh, you look after Sarah, Harry. Ooh. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there too. Clothing and armor customization. Nice. I'm a big fan of mixing black, blacks and reds. Make you a darker red. Yeah, that looks good. There we go.
Rider from uh, Kerry Tavessa, Hello Pathfinder, I'm a freelance vid maker and I could really use your help with my latest project. It's going to be historic. I hope just like your mission. Can we meet on the Nexus for a chat? I can explain better in person. Alright. Let's look into when we get back. Verifying my connection from Hyperion to the Tempest. The Nexus confirms we're free to depart. Alright then. What was that? Yeah. Go to the bridge. Yeah, I'm doing it. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. He hasn't quite got uh, his dad's or shepherd's knack for speeches, I don't think. Don't worry, Ryder. Him come. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Hell yeah! And here's our galaxy map. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Yeah, we've got our first three. Ah, that old music. Right, let's head straight to Eos. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Alright. I'm going to ignore that. And we're going to explore all these first. Pro 
probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Nice. Progression to opposite. Ah, yes. Oh no. Uh, Pythias is the system. So just doing this has is twelve percent of that. Right. I'm picking up something. We'll, we'll skip the rest of those now. Nothing here. Nothing there. Alright. And over to here. Okay. That's another thing I like about uh anomaly uh, detected. Where? Not there it isn't. But okay, another thing I like about this is the scan to scan the whole planet you just zoom in and it's done. Well right, there we go, fifty percent. Anomaly on sensors. Where? Where's the anomaly? It's not on any of the planets. Anomaly on sensors. Ah, uh, here we go. Deploying probe. Satellite detected. Getting 50 McRae research points. Yeah! Alright, seventy five percent for this whole I'm system. Up something. This should be EOS should be the last one now, right? Oh no, it looked like that there was another one on the other. A planet. mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Right, before we do that... I'm picking up something. I want to head back over here. <coughs> or was it just you? Okay, so it's just you. Alright. It just needs to confirm. Go mods. mods. All right, there we go. That's that added. Do I have anything for you? Some percent pistol damage. Put you on. Uh, do I have any mods? No. Uh. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Callow. All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board, spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. Oh, 
What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No. I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like... Hearing things, other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. I don't remember that bit. I don't remember that conversation. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Here we go. Our first planet in a new galaxy. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Sit us down at this nav point. Well, this is an advantage the Tempest has over the Normandy. We actually land on the ground. Welcome to EOS. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge. EOS deployment was in this analysis due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. If you continue to scan and collect Plus, this data, no we can utilize it if to EOS develop like new technologies seven, and upgrades for equipment must be connected such as your the weapons and armor. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. But they didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos home. Collect some of that. That door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Oop. Here you clip through. The door is getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self organizes and sets its own protocol. Cool. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Alright, what's happening in here? Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Damn. Uh, new entry. What are you hiding, Eos? The planet, the, the plants exhibit sporadic hypergrowth despite an environment, an environment that can sandblast paint. 
I was starting to suspect an electromagnetic trigger. I detected a signal of some kind, definitely alien, but that's not my field. Uncertain if deliberate, Vector noted. Alrighty. Alright, we've got a code, so that's one thing. <coughs> else here. Alright. Let's go open this door. There we go. Money, I'm home! Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. All right, let's go have a look at the logs. Mrs. Flick, people are talking here, saying that EOS isn't viable, that things aren't gonna, going like they expected. I think you should come back. I know what you're going to say, I didn't sign up t for the initiative to stay trapped in a floating tin can, and I promise you can have your adventure, promise you can have your adventure, later when they've had more time to plan for your safety. Mum told me to make sure you don't get in over your head, and that's what I'm doing. At, at least think about it for me, and check in more often, I've started to adopt Mum's worry. Already chewed through the nail on my pinky finger. It's up to you whether I keep the rest of my nails intact. Love you. Sorry to bug you again. I requested an update on Leah Wells a few days ago and I haven't heard anything back. On my end, it looks like the message wasn't even opened. Is everything okay there? Get back to me as soon as you can and tell Lee to message me back. Ooh, shit. This definitely looks raided and, <coughs> oh, excuse me, abandoned and raided. You right, there, Cora? Take that. Another terminal. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm going to die out here. It is a risky business being a colonizer. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Nothing else to scan, is there? No. Excuse me, Cora. Me first. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power... It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. We didn't expect this kind of environment. Who could? Exactly. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. 
Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager? Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. All right. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Right, here we go. Well, that's taking a while, jeez. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. We well, didn't mention about salvage. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Oops. C come on. Here we go. <coughs> We've got company. Thank you, Sam. Get back towards his face. Fancy. <coughs> you took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. I wonder who Crazy Blue could be. Anything else here? Yep, I'll take that. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right Sam? Correct. Plus I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. 
All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. We will, and we will find that. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Thank you, Sam. We will do all of that. Really? So you're going to cut rock me on a save here? We'll do all that in the next episode. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.